Cardi B speaks out on Nicki Minaj and their new friendship. It's no secret that Cardi B and Nicki Minaj have a tense relationship. These are two big names in the rap music world in which both women have made negative remarks about each other. And of course, these remarks get endless play in the media. Their unstoppable feud has been making headlines around the world for years. But are they actually ready to put the feud behind them? Well, it looks like it. Let's see how Cardi B speaks out on Nicki Minaj and their new friendship. Did they hate each other? Well, before we get into their current relationship, let's take a look at their close pals. Actually, the feud began over some Insta comments. In March 2017, it appeared as if Minaj had liked some comments on Instagram reading dumbass bars, seemingly referring to Cardi's music. But as some fans pointed out, the comments could have been fake. Later in 2017, Minaj appeared on the song No Flags with 21 Savage and Offset. Many thought she was referring to Cardi with her lyrics. The little bitch heard these labels trying to make another me. Everything you get, little ho, is cause of me. I heard I'm stopping bags. Word to Shaggy, it wasn't me. These bitches is my sons, but their daddy ain't bust in me. Well, the entire Twitter universe thought that she was dissing Cardi B. The Young Money rapper tweeted out that she wasn't dissing the Bodak Yellow rapper, and in fact, her verse was written months ago. Cardi B sent out a tweet that seems like it was a light dab in Nicki Minaj, or perhaps he was addressing the controversy and not the pink print rapper directly. I don't bother with these hoes. Don't let those hoes bother me. She tweeted, Tensions grew even more around the song Motorsport. It was when Cardi Minaj and Migos worked on the song which has fueled a lot of drama itself. After the song came out, Cardi was asked by an interviewer what was going on between her and Minaj. Cardi dodged the question, saying, I don't like getting into detail. She elaborated, when I heard the track, her verse wasn't finished. Well, it's not the verse that is out right now, and Quavo told me to get on the song, and I just felt like it was a perfect opportunity for me to be on a track that's big like that. Months later, in an interview with Apple Music Beats One Radio, Minaj said, when I first came in the game, if a female of my stature had done a feature with me on it, I would only be singing their praises and saying thank you. The first interview Cardi B did after Motorsport came out, it just really hurt me. Because she looked so aggravated and angry, and the only thing she kept saying was I didn't hear that she changed her verse. She later elaborated on Twitter that the verse was changed per Cardi's request. The feud came to a head at the Harper's Bazaar Icons party during New York Fashion Week. Video show Cardi lunging at Nicki and her entourage. She reportedly threw a shoe at Minaj. She was escorted out of the party. Cardi B, wearing a voluminous red Dolce & Gabbana gown, was seen leaving the party with what appeared to be a bump on her head. In a post on Instagram, Cardi B didn't call it Minaj by name, but alluded to the fight and said she was sparked because her mothering skills were being disparaged. She and rapper Offset had their first child together at that time. After Cardi B was escorted out of the venue, she posted a note on Instagram that accused Minaj of making comments about her ability to take care of her daughter. And we're pretty sure that no matter what happened, if that thing about the child is true, it's totally clear how annoyed must Cardi have been at that moment. After all, that's life. Sometimes we ignore everything, but we simply will never ignore it when it's about our children, right? On Queen Radio, Minaj disputed the horrendous accusations. I would never discuss anyone's child, she retorted. It's so sad for someone to pin that on me because I'm the bad guy and they know people would believe them. I would never talk about anyone's child or parenting. Following the NYFW fiasco, Cardi posted on Instagram where she appeared to be speaking about Nikki and let you sneak this me, I let you lie on me, and let you attempt to stop my bags. Fuck up the way I eat, she said. Minaj responded on her radio show Queen Radio accusing Cardi of trying to attack people to stop their bags. In October 2018, Minaj responded to Cardi's claims of trying to stop her bags by turning the accusation into a meme in creating a line of backpacks, shirts, and jackets with Nikki Stop My Bag across them. Ultimately, they agreed on social media in October 2018 to move on from the drama. Okay, you guys, let's focus on positive things only from here on out. Nicki Minaj tweeted to her fans as Cardi B wrote, All right, then let's keep it positive and keep it pushing. 2019 was undeniably a drama-filled year for Cardi B, and she made sure this negative energy doesn't follow her into the new year. The money rapper recently took to Instagram to let her 54 million followers know that she intends to put an end to all her feuds and forgive those who have done her wrong in the past. Though she is ready to forgive, Cardi is only willing to enter feuds with people if they make an effort to do the same. Although she didn't mention anyone specifically, many fans were certain that Cardi was referencing Nicki Minaj in their longtime beef. In an interview with Apple Music this summer, Cardi B sat down with Everyday Struggle host and the desk, Alexis, to discuss her new Megan The Stallion assistant song, Walk, and the progression of female rap. She mentioned that it was a dying industry before one unnamed rapper came into the game and revamped it. When I was 678, 
there were a lot of different female rappers, she told the TV host, and then there was a time that there were no female rappers at all. I have to keep replaying songs from the early 2000s. I have to keep replaying it, replaying it because for a while there wasn't any female rapper. And then there was one female rapper that dominated for a very long time. Do you know what I'm saying? And she did pretty well. She's still been dominating. While she didn't name dropping Nicki Minaj, many fans immediately understood that Cardi was talking about Minaj. And not only did Cardi talk about the viral summer single WAP, but she also hinted at other possible collaborations in the future. Taking Twitter, a lot of them praised the Bodak Yellow hitmaker for giving credit where it's due despite the drama between them. Not only did Cardi suddenly praise Nicki, but she also gave us a little hint about an upcoming collaboration. In late October, Cardi tweeted, Since you're mad, I'm gonna give you something to be mad about. This next single and call, gonna have you sick since you hear well. Well, Nicki and Minaj's tense relationship is a well-known fact. Not many know that these successful rappers have actually made up the new friendship. So for now, the bad blood between Cardi B and Nicki Minaj could be a thing of the past. While such competition has existed for years, there have also been many of those who think the two rappers would make for an epic collaboration. The two superstars potentially have a new collaboration on the way that could bring their fan bases together and in their long-running feud once and for all. But what collab is currently talking about, and how do we know that it's with her enemy Nicki? Well, in early October, some information was posted about an upcoming single called Lavish. The details of the single were put on the music and lyrics website Genius after fans noticed that the song included Nicki Minaj. They took to social media to share the unbelievable news that Cardi and Nicki were collabing. And as soon as the rappers noticed the details of Lavish reposted online, they took down the Genius link. But it was already too late because the hip-hop fans have already saved the desired documents and shared them on social media. And while we still don't have any new information about the upcoming single Lavish, we know for sure it will go viral as soon as it's released. What do you think about the rappers? Should Cardi B and Nicki Minaj reunite? Do you think that they can actually be BFFs? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.